Okay guys, so if you've ever bought a less expensive guitar that has some kind of Floyd Rose style tremolo on it, you've probably got a bridge that's either a Floyd Rose Special or a licensed Floyd Rose. Now the licensed Floyd Rose bridges actually have a huge variety in terms of their design and the quality, but the Floyd Rose Specials are all pretty much about the same. Now regardless of which one you have, there's one really easy and inexpensive modification you can make that really upgrades the bridge. All that's really involved is actually replacing the tremolo arm or bar itself. One of the biggest problems with these less expensive Floyd Rose style bridges is that the bar never really gets very tight in the bridge and when you move the bar you end up with a lot of clicking and clacking kind of noises and also the bar doesn't stay where you put it. It'll always swing down back and forth. Sometimes that can create extra vibration in the guitar, which will lead to extra string noise. Now there's a lot of weird little fixes. Sometimes people put Teflon tape around the threads of the bar, or I've even heard of some guys putting wax in there. But really by far the most effective way to deal with this is to actually just replace the bar altogether. And the one you wanna use is a Schaller made in Germany bar, like this one. Now these cost usually between 15 and $20, and there's two ways that you can put it on. The first way is to actually just take this bar, take the old one off, put the new one on, and tighten it down, and that's it. You don't actually have to change anything else on the guitar. And once you tighten this down, okay, first of all, it's staying right where you put it, okay? And it's, it's a lot more solid. It doesn't have that sort of clicking and clacking noise like the old one did. So if you're doing any sort of dive bombs or flutters especially, this will really help that. But now the other way you can install this, which is actually even a little bit better, is the new bar will come with the collar, which is basically the piece that the bar goes into right on the bridge here. And if you turn the guitar over and take off your back plate, there's just a little bolt in there that you can take out with an Allen wrench that will take off that old collar and you can put the new one in. That will make for an even better fit with the new arm. Now I'm gonna put a link in the video description where you can get this exact arm, but please don't just go on eBay and get one that costs like $5 or something like that. That's just gonna be the exact same as the old bar and you won't have accomplished anything. You have to get specifically the Schaller made in Germany arms. The reason for that is that those arms will fit your existing bridge, but at the same time eliminate any of that sloppiness. Now this is a standard chrome one, but of course you can get them uh, the gold-plated ones or just black. So that's really all there is to it. It's just a matter of replacing the tremolo arm and you can do it with or without the new collar that comes with the arm. It will really help to eliminate any of that clacking and clicking noise and the looseness that you get of the original arm. And the best part is that you can find these nice high quality ones for less than $20. But now let me ask you, what do you guys think in general of Floyd Rose style bridges? Personally, I love them. I love all the you know, dive bombs and uh, pig squeals and all that flutters, all that kind of crazy stuff. But some people prefer the old vintage style tremolos or just a stop tail bridge or a string through. All right, guys, as always, thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. I'll see you soon.